A drinking water advisory is now in place in Lower Plaquemines Parish from the Empire Bridge to Venice. The parish water system is now experiencing higher levels of sodium from a saltwater wedge now moving up the Mississippi River. The parish water supply comes from the river. As long as the river uh, is very low, the salt's going to keep on creeping up the river. Uh, in 2012, it, it was past the Bell Chase area. When the rate of fresh water on the river slows down, it allows salt water to drift upstream from the Gulf of Mexico. To keep that from happening, the Army Corps of Engineers is now preparing to build a temporary underwater levee. It could be about 45 foot tall across the span of the Mississippi River. It goes through the channel, um, ties into the banks. It's designed to block the wedge of heavier salt water from reaching Bell Chase, New Orleans, and other upriver communities. We're going to be, begin construction in the next two to three weeks. Uh, we hope construction will be done early November. Plaquemines is also installing two reverse osmosis machines at its water treatment plants on the south end of the parish, already impacted by salt water. Ten years ago, the parish spent millions of dollars to barge fresh water to the plants. With the reverse osmosis, it's going to remove, I think, probably 90 to 95 percent of the salt in the, uh, in the system. Dean Phillips lives in Bell Chase. I think they've learned from the lab, from the pet from previous times, you know, so I think it's going to be a minimal impact. I think they got a good handle on it and what they're trying to do. As a precaution, Plaquemines Parish has ordered all towers and reservoirs to remain full with fresh drinking water for the duration of the low water event. In Bell Chase, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.